and welcome to another episode of the Gigi Show. Today we're coming at you with another recipe. And in fact, today we are making Tsong Yong Bing, which is a Chinese scallion pancake. Tsong means scallion or spring onion. Yo means oil, butter, probably oil more, yeah. And Bing means cake, also known from Yue Bing, moon cake. So, uh, but that's a different story. So, Tsong Yo Bing is what we're making today. Very easy, it doesn't have a lot of ingredients, but it's very satisfying to make. I made it last weekend and I just couldn't get over how well it came out. So you just need some flour, hot water, some spring onion, oil. I mean, I guess the name tells you already. You kind of make the dough, which I'll show you, then you fry it in a pan and it comes out like really flaky and nice and savory. It's kind of like the croissant of the Chinese cuisine, but better. So um, yeah, hope you enjoy the recipe. Okay. One, two, three, go! The dough is very easy to make. We need two ingredients only, which is flour and water. And yes, we're going to be making about four pancakes, I think. I used 250 grams of flour and 160 milliliters of boiling water. Uh, you need hot water so the dough isn't elastic. So it makes it really easy to roll out and gives it the um, cool texture in the end, I guess. So let's try this. Uh, we need 250 milli, milli, 250 grams of flour and 160 ml of water happens to be two thirds of a cup. And we have cup measurements now. This is a third, so I'll do two of those. And don't go in with your hand directly because that's going to hurt because it is hot water. Um, you can mix it with some chopsticks if you want to be very authentic because you know this is a Chinese dish. You can also use a different utensil that you have in your drawer, doesn't really matter. Luckily we don't need to knead it forever like a bread dough or a pizza dough because you know no elasticity needed. We just need to knead it enough so it comes together. Let's see how hot this is. Yeah, I think I can start using my hand now. Oh, so nice and warm. This is a very good recipe for people with cold hands. Oh. Uh, while the dough is resting, you can prepare the other ingredient, the spring onions. So just chop them really finely. Half an hour later, the dough has rested. It is very relaxed now. Very good. Looks pretty much the same as before, but I'm sure the chemistry in there has changed or something. Oh, still warm. Very nice. Um, cool. I'm going to make four pancakes from this. So I'm going to try to cut this into four pieces. Right, I'm going to put two of those back in here into the bowl so they can rest a bit more and don't dry out. And I'm going to lightly flour this very clean surface. Oh, that's probably more than light, but that's okay. And now it's time to roll this out. And it should be rolled out into a rectangular shape. Which I have found is also a challenge. And actually it's fine if it's not exactly rectangular. But let's give it a try. You see how easy it is to roll this out? compared to any more elastic dough where you just like rolling forever and it doesn't get any bigger. But this is very satisfying. It's really fun to make this. Okay. And we want to spread oil all over 
And that's a really cool trick, so as not to get your hands oily. You can use the dough itself to spread it around. Massage it all in. Ooh. Okay. Maybe we need a bit more. And now it's time to roll this up. Cool. And now the next step is to roll it into a snake. Snail. Sorry. Snail, the house of a snail shape type thing. Like this. And we tuck the rest, the leftover bit under here and then press down and then roll it again. So this technique makes it to have a lot of layers, which is what we want and which makes it flaky and fun to eat. It's cool, isn't it? Oh yeah, pro tip. The first time I did it, I made a big mistake. I made it into like a nice round shape. Make it into a shape so you can fit two next to each other in the frying pan. Otherwise you're gonna be frying forever. So I think this would be a good, oh see, it's already coming out here. Mm. But yeah, this would be a good shape. Uh, if I make another one of this size, I think they're gonna go nicely next to each other. It's okay. I mean, if it comes out a little bit, it's fine. What you can also do, you can do a double snake technique where you roll it this way from this side and the other way from the other side. And I don't know, maybe it gets even more flaky layers. And then you put it on top ah, and squeeze down. Good. All right. Let's get to the cooking now. Okay, I'm heating up a frying pan now. And for frying, I'm using sunflower oil. Okay, it's already been heating up a bit. And to know if this is hot enough, you can throw in a piece of spring onion. And if it starts to sizzle, oh, there's no sizzling at all. Some light. If it starts to sizzle, then it's hot enough. Ooh, can you hear it? Yeah, I think it's hot enough. And I hope this is not gonna be, you know the situation like when you're making pancakes and the first batch is always burnt? I mean, that's me anyway. And then when you make more, it's better. So let's try not to have the situation here. I think it is because the heat is too high in the beginning. So I'm gonna put it to medium, maybe on a six out of nine that we have here. And then, we just throw in the pancakes. This needs to be fried, I think, for two to three to five to whatever minutes until it looks nice and brown. And I just flip it over, you know, fry it for one minute on this side, flip it over, flip it back over. So that's totally fine just to keep going back and forth. And once it has a nice golden brown color and it is nice and crispy, then it's done. And that's it. <laughs> 